Scotland Yard has been forced to apologise to Prince Andrew after he was bailed up by armed police in the gardens of Buckingham Palace. Sunrise Royal Editor Rob Johnson joins us now from London. Rob, police have denied reports they pulled their guns on Prince Andrew. Thank goodness. Well, you, you couldn't really make it up, Koshi, could you? But uh, actually, there had been a burglary just a little while before that, a couple of days. Police were on a high sense of security, a bit jittery, and Andrew was walking around the grounds of Buckingham Palace, and uh, I think they just went through the procedure. Um, it seems a bit daft, doesn't it, but uh, they should recognise Prince Andrew, but at the same time, uh, they have to follow their procedure, and he was wandering around in the grounds, and they challenged him to identify himself. So, Rob, was it the, the middle of the night he was going around? Was he uh, um, s scaling a drain pipe? Uh, was Fergie there and he was sort of, I don't know. Uh, what was he doing suspiciously? Well, he was just wandering around the garden. It was uh, coming towards dusk, so, um, the, but the light was pretty good. There had been, as I say, this burglary attempt, and two men had been held in uh, custody f uh, for a short while and then bowed later on that. And so there was a heightened sense of security around Buckingham Palace. The, even members of the royal family have to carry security cards. And in fact, a couple of oh. times, I think in the past, Prince Andrew has had to identify himself because he didn't have his card on him. So oh. um, that's happened in the past. Even the Queen's dresser has been challenged by police when she didn't have her security pass on her and pushed up against the wall and even though she said do you know who I am you know so they have to be very uh, secure like this the policeman was probably just doing his mm. job but I'm sure a few of his fellow officers will send him a pair of, a pair of uh, glasses or something later. <laughs> I suppose that's fair enough when you explain <laughs> it like that and the Prince has accepted Scotland Yard's apology. He has accepted the apology, but he was a bit sort of, uh, uh, I suppose, disgruntled with it and said that, you know, he hopes for a nice walk in the, in the grounds without being challenged again, such sort of thing. But I think in, in this instance, you know, they, we are in a, we do have a state of terror alert here in, in London, as we do all around the world with Al-Qaeda and other terror areas. Buckingham Palace, members of the royal family are, you know, are, are targets. So they have to be very, very careful. And I think they just were a bit overzealous this time.